Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be having a good old gander at the Infinix Zero 5G 2023. This near 6.8 inch behemoth packs in MediaTek's Beeftastic Dimensity 1080 chipset. You got masses of storage, a bright and poppy 120Hz display, plus a mighty 5000mAh capacity battery and all for a pleasingly low asking price. So let's whip the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 on out of the box, take you on a full tour and a massive thanks to Infinix for sponsoring this video. Cheers! So first up, what's in the box besides that Zero 5G? Well, you've got yourself one Infinix charger, USB Type-C charging cable, pokey pin device, you got a condom case to wrap around your Infinix Zero 5G 2023, keep it nice and safe. And also what looks like a free dollar bill, but it's actually an invitation to join the X Club, which isn't quite as filthy as you might expect. And that's everything that's packed away inside of the box. So now let's check out the fun. So it goes without saying really that the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 is an absolute monster at 6.78 inches. If you like them big, then boy howdy, are you going to be satisfied? And the bezels surrounding that display aren't too chunky either, so it is mostly screen filling that front end. And flip it over, and Infinix has done a solid job with that design as well. It really doesn't look like a budget-friendly smartphone. It's got a much more premium finish. As you can see there, a unibody-style design with that camera chassis just blending nicely in with the back end. And minimal branding as well for a nice clean finish. This right here is the pearly white model, but you can also grab the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 in submarina black or coral orange if you want something really bright and poppy and in your face. So what we have running here on the Zero Phone is Android 12. You've also got Infinix's XOS 12 launcher slathered on top. And this changes up stock Android in a few different ways. So for instance, you don't have the Google Discover feed. Instead, you've got the Zero screen, which is like a collection of widgets, news headlines, all that good stuff. You can see just how much you've been using your smartphone, get various tips on how to use XOS. And these widgets are fully customizable as well, so you can set it up exactly how you want. XOS really boosts the customization of Android as well. So for instance, you've got various themes you can choose from. These can really change up the vibe, as you can see there, adding in not just custom wallpaper, but also icons. There's plenty of other papers you can choose from, including a selection of live wallpapers. There's plenty of space-based shenanigans in there, if that's your bag. And any gesture fans out there are well and truly catered for. You've got lots of customization you can do here. And then from December, the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 will also serve up a simple PC connection tool, which is great news if you happen to have one of Infinix's Zero Buck laptops. All you'll need to do is use the phone's camera to scan a on-screen QR code, and then the two will pair up instantly so you can share files, apps, whatever else. For your security shenanigans, well, the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 sports an edge-mounted fingerprint sensor. And so far, despite the fact that this sensor is impressively skinny, it seems to do its job remarkably well. Just a quick tap of your digit, and as you can see, straight in, nice and responsive. And more good news on the storage front as well, because Infinix has generously packed 256 gigs of internal storage into the Zero 5G. Even a lot of premium smartphones start off with just half the amount of storage, 128. You have to upgrade in order to get the likes of 256, so that should take you a good amount of time to fill up. And if we yank out the old SIM tray as well, you'll see you've got space in there for two SIM cards side by side. Otherwise, if we flip around, there is actually a slot for micro SD memory cards too, just in case you do somehow run out of storage. And XOS is absolutely packed to the nipples with tons of other bonus features, far too many to go into in one video, otherwise it would turn into a Lord of the Rings epic. But you've got like, the game mode, which can help improve your gaming experience when you're busy blasting gribblies into tiny chunks. X-Clone for getting dual accounts set up. You've got even more gesture support for answering phone calls, taking screenshots, all of that stuff. Loads of battery controls, the works. But now let's have a shift onto that display tech. And what you've got here is a 6.78 inch IPS panel. And while it is IPS rather than OLED tech, you still get some pretty punchy colors on there. You get reasonably wide viewing angles. And if you bump that brightness up, it should be absolutely fine, even on a sunny day, something that us Brits won't be enjoying for a while anyway. Jump on into the display settings, you've got the usual eye care mode on board. You can also play around with the color temperature. And that display also tops off at 120 hertz refresh rate here on the Zero 5G 2023. But as you can see there, you do have a dynamic refresh rate as well, so you don't have to worry about manually tweaking it. And it's a full HD plus resolution as well. So even though this smartphone is absolutely freaking massive, the visuals stay nice and crisp. As for the audio, well, it is just a mono speaker setup here on the Infinix Zero 5G 2023, but let's boost up the sound. What flavor was that muffin? 
And that would be chocolate chip, my friend, the superior muffin flavour. And bump it all the way up to that top volume, and it's got a bit of a kick to it, so that's always good if you are going to be enjoying a video in a noisy area. You got full support for high res audio here on the Infinix Zero 5G 2023, and you got those DTS sound smarts as well, complete with equalizer support. So you can fine tune the audio, get that bass boosted all the way up. Now, when it comes to performance, the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 is powered by MediaTek's fresh new Dimensity 1080 chipset, which was announced just a few short weeks ago. And that's backed here by eight gigs of RAM or up to 13 gigs if you enable the virtual memory mode. And what all this means is that the Zero 5G is powerful enough to run dozens of apps at once and gaming is a breeze as well, even with memory guzzling fare like Genshin Impact. Now, as we saw earlier, there's space inside of the Infinix Zero 5G 2023 for a pair of SIM cards. And the good news is that Dimensity 1080 serves up 5G support across both of those SIMs. And this blower can even cleverly detect the most efficient method of getting you online, be it mobile data or Wi-Fi, ensuring you've got plenty of bandwidth to do what you need to do without absolutely zapping your battery life. And speaking of battery life, Infinix has certainly made the most of the enormous frame here on the Zero 5G 2023, stuffing a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity cell inside. And you've got 33 watt fast charge support, which will get you powered back up to 50% in half an hour. So let's finish up this Infinix Zero 5G 2023 unboxing video with a sly squint at that camera tech. Now spearheaded by a 50 megapixel primary sensor. Infinix has packed on the usual AI scene detection smart, and this also includes the new sky remap feature, which can automatically brighten up a dull and dreary sky. And that's perfect if you live here in Blighty and you've pretty much forgotten what the sun actually looks like. And as you can see there, you've also got a good bit of eye tracking when you are shooting a living subject, so you can keep them sharply in focus. And as for bonus camera modes, well, take your pick. There's absolutely tons of the buggers crammed on here, including the super night mode, which is great for those low light shots. I can just brighten up a pick when the conditions are rather cack. You've also got a pro camera mode if you want to take full control rather than relying on those AI smarts. And if you like shooting some funky video where you can get a bit of slow motion action on the go, by default the shoots at 120 frames per second, but you can bump that all the way up to 960 FPS. Or alternatively, if you'd rather just shoot some natural looking video while well, you can capture footage at all the way up to 4K resolution. Great news if you love shooting lots of footage of fluffy wee buggers like this in here. And that rear setup is topped off with two megapixel macro and depth sensors. And then if we flip around to the front facing camera, it's a 16 megapixel selfie shooter. Again, with those AI smarts, you can shoot portrait shots with a nice bit of bokeh action, whatever your heart desires. And for your video needs, you can capture up to full HD resolution footage. No 4K smarts from that front facing sensor, unfortunately, but it does the job fine. Audio pickup is good. And that right there, in a lovely little nutshell, is the fresh new Infinix Zero 5G 2023. Now, what do you reckon? It would be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. A massive thanks to Infinix for sponsoring this video. And have yourselves a ruddy, wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.